Now we've connected the PTZ camera to the IQ uh, CCTV 16-way DVR, which we have here. Uh, the next step is to actually gain control of the camera itself. So often what you'll find with, um, by default, the camera will come up in a, an auto preset mode, so it'll be rotating around by itself. So if we came here, um, uh, we, we want to gain control and we'll have to change some settings on the DVR to do this. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to briefly start by covering the topic of P PTZ addresses. And if we look on this uh, camera here, we'll see here that we have a block that identifies uh, the actual PTZ uh, address of, of this camera. So we'll see that there's a, a series of eight binary switches here with simply an on and off position on it. And it allows us to allocate an address of one all the way up to 255 to this camera. If we had more than one PTZ camera on a system, we would have to make sure that they have different um, PTZ addresses, okay? So all cameras, including this one, come with a default address of one. So basically, seven of these switches here, two straight through to eight, are all set to off, and switch number one is set to on. If we wanted to change the address of this, for instance, uh, for example, from um, 1 to 2, we would simply turn switch 1 from the on position to the off position and turn switch 2 to the on position and that would give an address of 2. So having covered that topic, hopefully the next section will make a little bit more sense to you. So what we may, might make a decision here to do is we're just going to focus in on this camera here and I'm going to try to control it using the PTZ functionality. I brought up this menu by right clicking on the mouse and I go into PTZ control here. And I decide that I'm going to focus in the camera and focus it out. I can see nothing is happening. And the reason nothing is happening is that the address allocated to the camera on the DVR does not match the address of, the DV, or, or, of this PTZ camera itself. So I'll right click again, I go into the menu, and I come along and I click on, on channel. So we'll see which channel one. Uh, uh, channel 001, that's simply the input from the back. Um, the PTZ protocol, um, uh, Pelco D, that's fine. Uh, that's uh, the default one there, uh, would be fine with this. With baud rate, we have uh, three choices there. 9600 is the highest, so that'll suit us quite well. And we see here that the PTZ ID address given for input one is um, 001. Now, if we came along and we looked at channel two, we can see here that the default PTZ ID address is 02. So unsurprisingly, we're using a camera input, uh, our BNC input number seven here, so for channel seven, and it defaults to 007. But that is not the address of this camera. We know that it's 001. So we come along, we click on one, and then we click apply and okay. So now we have set this. So we come off the main menu, we right click to kill this menu, and what I'm going to do here now is, I'm actually just going to pick up this camera and I'm just going to focus it at a wall over here. And what I'm going to do here now is, I'm going to bring up the PTZ control here. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to zoom. And now I want to move the camera up or down. We can do it. So we can move it down further and then we can zoom all the way in and we can exit in at that point there so that's it, I'm just going to put down the camera because it's actually very heavy <laughs> so we can see the zoom factor we can achieve on this we have a zoom factor of 26 there but we can actually go all the way up to zoom factor number 30 so that's it anyway, an overview of how to um, uh, ascertain the address or indeed change the address of your uh, PTZ camera and how to set it up on the system uh, to, so that the DVR settings match the camera and then to actually use the PTZ control to be actually able to control your camera and um, overview in full.